my guest prayed for a man who was dead, dead, dead. I mean, in a morgue, 23 hours frozen in a freezer, and he came back to life. Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. I'm ex so excited about my guest mentoring you because he is going to take you to a whole new level, a whole new realm. And the reason he's going to do that is he has been called by the audible voice of God to do this. Guillermo Maldonado, tell me about that day that you heard the audible voice of God. Well, I was calling to the ministry, Sid, and uh, one day I was praying my prayer time with God, and, and um, suddenly the presence of, of God came upon my room, and I heard the audible voice of God in my room saying, I have called you to bring my supernatural power to this generation. And, you know, I, I stay there for two hours laying down on the floor, and then suddenly I heard the voice inside of me. And the Lord said, the voice you heard, audible voice, was the, my angel proclaiming your call. And inside of you, I spoke to you directly. So since that moment, Sid, I have trained, taught, trained, and equipped thousands of people around 50 countries. And the Lord called me to, to, to pastor in Miami 15 years ago. Our church now has become the largest Hispanic church in America. And two years ago, the Lord called me to be a multicultural church. As a result, we have 56 nations represented from all over the places. And also, they've been trained uh, to do miracle signs and wonders. Just to give you an example, one of my pastors in 30 countries, I got churches in 30 countries, one of my pastors from, um, from Mexico, he had 300 people. And because of the miracle signs and wonders, now seven years later, his church is 9,000 people. So it has been that way. Miracles, whatever I do, I train him to do. And, and that's what I love about him. You see, anyone can read a book on faith or healing and teach it. But it's another thing to teach based on a call of God. I can tell you that when I sit under his teaching, I literally almost tremble with the presence of the Holy Spirit. What about young people? Tell me what's going on with the young, young people. Young people, there's a, I, the word that I use, and I will use this word, you know, very carefully, is revolution. I can tell you they go to bars, they go to malls, they there for two, three hours, people waiting on line in the malls of Miami, waiting for them to pray, to prophesy over them. Um, uh, bones are growing. I mean, you're talking about something crazy. Not only in Miami, but also outside. I just came back from Venezuela, for example. Um, and this person, this mother, uh, heard my teaching on the supernatural, and her daughter died in the hospital. And she said, well, I'm going to apply what he taught. So, and the doctor said, woman, your daughter is dead, so don't come to the hospital. She said, please wait for me. The doctor said, well, we're not going to wait. Disconnect her from the instruments. And then uh, she went and they put her in the morgue, you know, in that place, cold place. And she prayed for an hour. Hour later, she came back with her daughter, came back to life. 
she testified as a result. You know, this happens a lot to people that you train. And oh, get this, he trains people and they start doing the same thing, praying for the dead. I mean, you read this in the Bible, but how in the world are you going to reach someone from another religion or an atheist unless you do the same works that Jesus did? And he says, you'll even do greater works than these. Now, when I hear the term replacement theology, I immediately think in terms of uh, the replacement of Israel in any way, shape, or fashion, uh, such as the church might say we're the new Israel, and the Israel, the Jewish people have the curses, and, and the church has the blessings, and that is, uh, uh, I'm going to use a Yiddish word, Meshuggah. That is crazy. Have you ever read Romans 11? The gifts and calling yes, of God are yes, without yes, repentance, yes. which means God doesn't change his mind, which means if God doesn't change his mind with the Jewish people and the nation Israel for, let's say, disobedience, that means he's not going to change his mind with Christians for, let's say, disobedience. I'm so glad we can rely on the love of God, the goodness of God, but that's what I hear when someone says replacement theology. But as I have studied some of the teaching of Dr. Guillermo Maldonado, I have found that there's a lot of other areas that have been replaced. Yes. Tell me a few areas. Yes, you touch a, a so essential point. I believe some of the uh, reasons why the church has lost the power is because you cannot change the church for Israel thinking that you're going to move in the supernatural because it's about the former glory and the latter glory. In other words, to move in the latter glory, you need to recognize that Israel is, is God has not forgotten Israel. And, and, and there's so, more, so many replacements I call substitutes of the supernatural. Uh, Sid, we have replaced entertainment for worship. Or let me put it this way, entertainment has replaced worship. Theology has replaced revelation. Hmm. What do you mean by that? Do I believe in theology? Do you believe in of the course. right doctrine? Of course we do. But the thing is, those theology take you to remove the supernatural. The supernatural has become an event in churches. Somebody from outside has to come. Instead of training people, like Jesus said, in the book of Acts, you see 28 chapters. In each chapter, you see one supernatural event. So because of that theology, replaced uh, um, revelation, because um, um, entertainment has replaced worship. And there's so many replacements. For example, the apostles and prophets has been replaced by Jezebel, good administrators. We got good administrators in church, but in, in reality, we need the two ministers that bring the supernatural. And when I'm saying bring, not the only one they can do it. They can train, teach others to do exactly the same. You know, the devil can pick out, a, pick, uh, pick off a superstar, say uh, that has their own television mm -hmm. show. But what if there really isn't a lot of superstars? What if there's only one superstar, the Jew yeah. Jesus? Yeah, there you go. And we start, everyone in the congregation starts doing what Jesus would do. Can you see how the devil would go? I already taught you uh, this word previously. It's a Hebrew word, it's meshuggah. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, the devil will go meshuggah. Don't go away. I want you to hear about the creative miracles that are happening uh, when Dr. Mildonado prays for people and the people under him pray based on his teaching. Don't go away. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. For he himself is our peace, who has made both Jew and Gentile into one, and broke down the barrier of the dividing wall. His purpose was to create in himself, to create in himself. His purpose was to create one new man, one new man, one new man, Adin Novi Chalyak, the Adam Hadash Echad, one new man. We now return to It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here with Dr. Guillermo Maldonado. And I love 
miracles. I love creative miracles. For instance, what if someone perhaps has cancer? And to get rid of the cancer, a, a, a woman, they would take a breast off, remove the breast. What if that woman believed God that she would get a new breast? <laughs> Can I stretch your faith a little bit right now? Uh, Guillermo, tell me. Yeah, I went, it was in Mexico. I went and I remember uh, when I was praying in my room, the Lord spoke to me. He said, my creative power will be there tonight. So I said, he said, there's someone without breast that I will create a new breast. So this woman came into the meeting. I called out the woman. She never came into the, to testify, to say anything. So I came back to Miami and then I said, well, I know I heard God. Well, my spiritual son, one of my pastors in Mexico, called me on Monday. I was on the weekend, and then he said, Pastor, I just want to tell you, this woman came to testify. When she went to the room, she felt something was growing. And when she was removing her bra, she saw the breast coming back. Brand new breast. I, I have a curiosity. Yeah. Is there anything that that you feel God cannot do? Is there any problem that, that you say, oh no, my God's not so big, so big to do? There's nothing impossible for God. But Sid, there's the biggest problem in the Western countries. What's the, that? The uh, intellectualism. In other words, our reality Tell is... Tell me, is, I am a logical, <laughs> methodical Logi type of person, and my greatest asset is my greatest liability in the spirit. I know that. Okay, so you, <laughs> did you know, Sid, that um, uh, your reality, the most of the people, their reality is based on education and based on, on reason and logic. I never seen in the scripture logic, common sense, reason, produce a miracle. Never. It has to be faith involved. It, the question, is any impossible, anything impossible for God? Nothing. God can do anything. I've seen God, this pastor in, in, in L.A., I'm ministering and the Lord, the presence of God like the, came, like I'm feeling now the presence of Me God too. <laughs> came upon the, on the meeting. And this man, she, he, he used to fight against the miracles, the supernatural. He said, those people, they're inventing things and, and they lying, they fall on the floor. There's so many things that he, mm -hmm. in other words, he came to attack the service. 21 years attacking the supernatural, miracles, signs, and wonders. And suddenly the presence came and for some reason the polio ate one of his legs and he didn't have flesh, tissues, he only had skin and bone. And this is what he said to me. Pastor, he said, my leg was three, this thick, three fingers of my hand, only skin and bones. And then he said, when the presence of God came, I feel the presence now. He said, I felt something was filling my pants. And I felt something was growing in my right leg. And then he said, suddenly up to the knee, I saw and I had all my leg full of flesh and tissue. Oh, and then he said, Lord, please finish it. Because it was the whole leg. Because the polio, when he was eight years old, ate the whole thing. So suddenly God Filled with flesh and bones and I mean and tissues, a new a new a oh, new Okay, leg. but this man came as a skeptic. Uh, what did he say? Well, he well he repented. He was crying. He I said think he so. said I was preaching against miracles, and then he said I now I'm going to pray for people for miracles. And this is what happened when revelation comes, when knowledge comes, and when I'm saying revelation from the Holy Spirit, when it comes, it will activate the people to do what we do. And this was the problem in the past, in the 40s and the 50s. We got great men of God that came here to this nation, the great healing movement, and they did not have the revelation with the respect that I have for them and and I still love them and and I admire them they didn't have the revelation that what they had they needed to be transferred to the new generation stronger and and to move in the power of God so they thought what they had it was only for them to do no that's not what the scripture said the scripture said that we, we what we have we can impart it to others and other people can do exactly what we do uh, for example, this guy in, 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 in Uruguay, uh, he, he got one of my teachings and he saw the miracles and he goes, well, I can do those miracles too. And his uncle died in the hospital. 
So he went to the hospital, told the doctors, I'm going to pray for my uncle. And the doctor said, man, you're crazy. But he said, no, let me apply what I saw in the teaching. Pray for the uncle. His uncle came back to life. That's what I'm saying. When this revelation in the teaching, and not only teaching, it just is an impartation from the Holy Spirit, something will happen over there. Okay, what you have told us about a woman growing a breast that had none, uh, that is outrageous. What about someone that grows, that is short and grows? Tell me one case. Okay, I was ministering in Argentina. The presence of God came in the place. When I'm saying the presence of God, many people don't understand the glory of God is the manifest presence of God. And I was there, and suddenly that atmosphere of heaven came on earth. There's many people watching saying this, is the kingdom of God, is the presence of God, is the glory of God, is the, the power of God only a, a theological concept or something that we can demonstrate or receive here or experience here and now and I can answer to you more than 20 years ministering miracles signs and wonders is something that we can experience it here and now this man the presence came upon the place and suddenly this little guy boy came into the stage crying because he was kind of crippled in his arms and then he said I've been healed but I saw him short and I saw there was something weird in him, in his, in the way, the, his height. Yes. And the Lord said to me, declare over him that he will grow in the next three days. And to me, logic was crazy. I said, what am I doing? I'm growing? i never seen that before. But I learned, I learned, I learned something, Sid, that you don't move in the supernatural with your reason. You have to remove your head out of the way. You have to move your reason out of the way and let the Holy Spirit take control of you and minister the power of God. So I said, I declare that the next three days you will grow. Well, he left. He said, well, I'm, I'm healing my arms. I didn't know what happened. Right. Three days later, my, his pastor called me. I spoke to him. His pastor is a doctor. And then he said, you're not going to know about Matthias. And I said, what happened? He goes, he grew, the first day he grew two inches, three inches. At the, at the end of six days, three days, something, it was like six inches. And then this is what he said, Sid. And I spoke to him two months ago. He said, it keep growing. And you know what he said? It was a sickness that people receive one in a million. One in a million. Then he said, I am a doctor. And I can tell you, he said, he has to change all his clothes. Oh, speaking about cl changing all of his clothes, <laughs> how about supernatural weight loss? How about Jesus gave Guillermo a revelation of how to get rid of cancer? God hates cancer. Cancer does not come yes. from God, and I'm going to ask him to share that with you. Don't go away. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Call now and get Guillermo Maldonado's book, How to Walk in the Supernatural Power of God, and his two DVD teachings, Understanding Kingdom Supernatural Power and Revelation and Knowledge. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9133. Through this biblically-based book, you will experience the miraculous in your life. Obtain God's anointing power where miracles, signs, and wonders are commonplace. The revelation of God will activate your spirit to do what you read. And here I will give you principles and how to do it, how to cast out demons, how to bring the presence of God. You will also receive his two DVD teachings, Understanding Kingdom Supernatural Power and Revelation and Knowledge. It's as if he's right in your home teaching you and imparting the anointing God has given him to the supernatural. All the people in his church that sit under this teaching move in the supernatural. Many are now being released and starting large churches throughout the world. If it works for them, it will work for you. Don't miss out on getting Guillermo Maldonado's book, How to Walk in the Supernatural Power of God, and his two DVD teachings, Understanding Kingdom Supernatural Power and Revelation and Knowledge. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9133. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9133 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. 
Hello, Sid Roth here with Dr. Guillermo Maldonado. And I don't know about you, but I am overwhelmed with the presence of God. Supernatural weight loss. Tell me one case. Um, I was ministering in Boca Raton in Florida, and I was ministered to pastors, and this, suddenly these pastors uh, weighted 250 pounds. Suddenly the presence came, the presence of God came. I, I left. I didn't pray for people. I just the presence came. So that, and then two months later, he came back to testify to my church. He said, remember you were ministering this. And I said, what happened? He goes, um, when I was taking a shower, I felt something had happened. And I checked and I was size 48 pants. And then he said, I remember I used to had pants 38. So I went back, tried the 38. He lost 10 sizes in three days. That, that is so phenomenal, but even more phenomenal is what about there's someone in the morgue, and according to my notes, 23 hours frozen in a morgue. What happened to that person? Well, the Lord has spoken to me before I went to this country, and then he said, I want you to release the power of the resurrection. So when I, I was in the church, in that particular moment, I heard the Lord, this is the moment you release the power of the resurrection. I released it, and then the same moment, that person that was in the morgue, I came back to life. It was a moment when I was declaring, and it was the right time, and the moment that I said it, that's what happened. Cancer. Some of you have cancer. Many of you have relatives that have cancer. Jesus gave a revelation for Dr. Mildenado of what cancer is and what to do about it. Would you explain? Yeah, I was praying one day, Sid, and this is what the Lord said to me. He said, I am angry against the spirit of cancer. So I know what the Lord was saying. It's so a it's a spirit. It's a spirit. In other words, when I train people and when I have done it myself, I have found, Sid, two things. Uh, sometimes I have prayed for those people before, and I saw that two years later it came back, the cancer came back. Mm -hmm. So the Lord said, I want you to curse the seed and the root of it hmm. and, and command the spirit of death to come out from people. In other words, I have seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people being healed of cancer. And right now I feel there are people watching me with family members with cancer. I will release that anointing. And I don't know where you're watching me now. You're not watching me by chance. I know the Holy Spirit will touch your life right now. So let me pray for you. Father, I thank you. I give you praise and I give you honor. Thank you for you. If you're watching now, I want you to lay hands on, on your chest, on your body, whatever you feel the pain. Uh, let me release the power of God. Father, I rebuke the spirit of death. I rebuke the spirit of cancer. I curse it from the seed and from the root right now. Come out in Jesus' name. There's a woman. Your name is it's Isabel. Isabel, something has happened. I think you got cancer in your breast. Something is happening now. And I pray for those women that you lost your breast because of cancer. And I, I pray for creative miracles now for that breast to come back like Jesus created from the beginning. Now, receive it now in Jesus' name. There's people right now, I, I feel the, the said there's people that have been um, uh, paralysis with paralysis I can see someone in Israel watching you being in, in paralysis for three years you're a man and something is happening to you I command the spirit of sickness go blindness go a uh, deafness go in Jesus name I, my God I feel the presence of God all over and I I've seen those people that now uh, chest problems uh, back condition this back condition being healed now in Jesus name I want you to see the presence of God and the revelation of Pastor Maldonado's teaching would you give us a few nuggets about walking in the supernatural okay you know any demonstration any manifestation without the knowledge behind it will not stay in your spirit so it is important for the people to receive it number one you need to disconnect your reason I think reason has its place but in the supernatural, you need to walk with the mind of the Holy Spirit. Disconnect your reason. Don't analyze it. You know, faith is to believe God beyond reason. Number two, I think you need to take a risk. When you get into the supernatural, you need to take a risk. When I'm saying taking a risk, go beyond what your mind is telling you, your reason, and act on it. And number three, I would say is revelation. 
without revelation in Hebrew, it's somewhat that is Hebrew, they know and understand. All the, they expected the, the prophet to move in the supernatural because of the revelation they had behind it. In other words, the revelation of God is what will produce the manifestation in us. And for that, you need to be open, ready to receive it from the Holy Spirit. One of the keys that you've taught me is worship. Yes. How important is oh, worship in your ten. life? In your life, how yes. important is that? Okay, um, for example, worship will bring, is attracts the presence. The presence of God cannot be stirred up, cannot be manipulated, cannot be uh, um, controlled. It has to be attracted. And worship attracts the presence. So in my own life, if I pray two hours, um, our one hour will be just for worship. And when you worship, do you usually have music? Do you I pray? do have music, and but most of the time is is what I worship in the spirit. I just worship. But how do you do it for that length of time? Well, whenever you know, uh, worship is defined as this: if you are you only worshiping, truly worshiping God, when you're not conscious of yourself anymore. How do you get to that point? Oh, that's the Holy Spirit. That's the help of the Holy Spirit. You invite the Holy Spirit to get into it. In other words, if you're still conscious of thinking and my food and my this and we'll do this, it will be very hard for you to get into that. In other words, you, you have to transcend yourself to get into the worship. And it's the Holy Spirit. When you invite the Holy Spirit to tell you, Holy Spirit, help me to worship the Father. And that particular moment is like you get lost. Are you ready to get lost in worship? Before you get lost, make sure Jesus is your Messiah and Lord. I mean, he's coming back soon. Your sins will be forgiven if you repent. Repent means tell God you're sorry. Believe those sins went on Jesus when he was crucified for you. And by his blood, they're all washed away. Make Jesus your Lord with your mouth right now. Call now and get Guillermo Maldonado's book, How to Walk in the Supernatural Power of God, and his two DVD teachings, Understanding Kingdom Supernatural Power and Revelation and Knowledge. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9133. Through this biblically-based book, you will experience the miraculous in your life. Obtain God's anointing power where miracles, signs, and wonders are commonplace. The revelation of God will activate your spirit to do what you read. And here I will give you principles and how to do it, how to cast out demons, how to bring the presence of God. You will also receive his two DVD teachings, Understanding Kingdom Supernatural Power and Revelation and Knowledge. It's as if he's right in your home teaching you and imparting the anointing God has given him to the supernatural. All the people in his church that sit under this teaching move in the supernatural. Many are now being released and starting large churches throughout the world. If it works for them, it will work for you. Don't miss out on getting Guillermo Maldonado's book, How to Walk in the Supernatural Power of God, and his two DVD teachings, Understanding Kingdom Supernatural Power and Revelation and Knowledge. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9133. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9133 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today next week on It's Supernatural. The anointing is so high when Grace Williams worships God that every limitation in your life, every ceiling, it's going to be removed.